This is an example video for finding solutions in an interval for a trigonometric equation with a squared function, problem type 2. Let's start with an example. Find all solutions of the equation in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Write your answer in radians. The goal of this problem is to solve for x. It may be hard to recognize at first, but often for this type of problem we will first factor this quadratic equation just as we factor all quadratic equations of the form a squared minus a minus 2 equals 0. Then we will set each factored term equal to 0 to solve for x. Factoring, we get cosecant of x minus 2 times cosecant of x plus 1 equals 0. If you would like a review of how to factor an equation in this form, please review the Alex topic Factoring a Quadratic Equation with Leading Coefficient 1. Now we can set each factor equal to 0. What do we get if we solve for cosecant of x in each equation? We get cosecant x equals 2 and cosecant x equals negative 1. Great work! Now what do we do? Well, I know that cosecant x is the reciprocal of sine x, so we can rewrite these equations in terms of sine x so we can use the unit circle to solve for x. Excellent! Now, since we know that sine and cosecant are reciprocals, we know that cosecant of x equals 2 can be rewritten as sine of x equals 1 half. And cosecant of x equals negative 1 can be rewritten as sine of x equals negative 1. Can you explain those steps? Of course. Looking at cosecant of x equals 2, we take the reciprocal of each side and we have 1 over cosecant of x equals 1 half. So we know that sine of x equals 1 half. Can you explain the other part? I think so. We look at cosecant x equals negative 1 and take the reciprocal of each side. Then we have 1 over cosecant x equals negative 1. And this can be rewritten as sine x equals negative 1. Good work. So, we can rewrite these equations as sine of x equals 1 half and sine of x equals negative 1. Now, we need to find what angle on the unit circle causes the sine to be equal to 1 half. Can you explain how to finish the part where sine of x equals 1 half? I think I can. We remember that the rule to find sine is opposite over hypotenuse and that the length of the hypotenuse is always 1 in the unit circle. We also know that the length of the opposite side is y, so we look for central angles where the terminal side intersects the unit circle at a point where y equals 1 half. This shows us that sine x equals 1 half means that x is pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6. Good. Now we need to find what angle on the unit circle causes the sine to be equal to negative 1. So, we look for central angles where the terminal side intersects the unit circle at a point where the y value is negative 1. It looks like sine is equal to negative 1 when the central angle is 3 pi over 2. You're correct. Therefore, we will list all of our possible answers together in order from smallest to largest, and we know that x equals pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2.